Letterkenny, uh, Letterkenny problems originally started as an anonymous Twitter account that uh, my best pal back home, Jordan Bierns, and I did. Uh, we called it Listy Problems uh, from our hometown in Listowel. It was uh, just, uh, we, we just basically tweet problems that people in our small town would have. It was an, an, an embellishment, you know, a joke. And one time I was reading back through them and I, and I, I called him and I said, listen, I think I could shoot this and, and it would be pretty funny, but we'd have to, we'd have to blow our cover. I bet you got a handful of names for your own horn, don't you, bud? You smell like nachos and you look stoned. You write Taylor Swift lyrics and birthday cards. You prefer kittens and you kiss babies. You're fucking ten-ply, bud. Oh, that was some of the finest tripping I've ever received. Ever. Oh, yeah? Did we get her done? Just kidding, we don't give a fuck. Keep away from my sisters. Montefiore and O'Sullivan are heads of a new production company called New Metric Media. And uh, basically, uh, when, when Letterkenny problems took off online, uh, my agent and I just uh, put the feelers out for production companies who may want to partner with us on this. I think when we first saw it, um, uh, we both really connected with it, Pat and I. Um, we knew that there was something there, there's something special about it, uh, and that it should be a TV show. First time we saw the videos, I think there was less than uh, 500,000 hits at that point uh, for all the videos, um, and now there's over 10 million. We realized that it could make a good TV show from the outset. I think you get a gut reaction first and foremost, and then you start to analyze it, and you look into it, and you say what makes it special and unique, and really what makes it unique, and what could make it a show that, that could resonate with more people is the authenticity that Jared brings to it. We got to put the damage you're doing around Letterkenny to bed. That's 5K. What are you old? More than that. Woman, stop fucking slamming! All right. We're gonna call it 5K. You know, it's quite clear that it's it's his life. He's showing it. It's it's hard to find that voice, and Jared hasn't. So we thought that it could be a TV series from the get-go. Motoring was a word that we used when talking about our buddies making out when they were yeah. French and stuff. Yeah. Oh fucking, they were motoring. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! And what felt really cool was how pumped they were when when we called and said, "Okay, let's let, let let's do this. You guys are the guys." That that felt really cool because Montefiore and, and O'Sullivan are are young guys, but they're big hitters. You know, they're big up and comers, and they've been doing serious moving and shaking ever since they started New Metric. And so we. Were we're looking for someone to pair with him to write the series and to help him bring it from kind of the idea and the characters to a full full-fledged show. And so Montefiore uh, suggested that we find somebody who I could co-show run with and we put together a wish list of, of, of guys who would who would be perfect for it and Jacob was at the top of that list. Got to two weeks later at the at the famous Letterkenny River. Wayne, Daryl and Dan are now in a rowboat in the middle of the river. Dan and Daryl have the oars. Can't row for shit. Wayne is a beer and a cigarette. They got along really well. It's a great way for the two of them to work because Jacob can do story and logic and character and Jared can do what he does best, which is uh, the voice of these characters and the, the dialogue. Hey, give your balls a tug, you tit fucker! Not the right time, Shorzy! I got involved with Letterkenny when uh, the folks at New Metric uh, sent me over the stuff and asked me if I would be interested in meeting with Jared to talk about it. And, uh, and I loved the YouTube videos. I thought they were hilarious. Mm -hmm.